Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks of you. Today we're viewing this G Energy energy drink and this one is going to be on the original flavour. So I found this out of a random corner shop and I can't remember the price because it wasn't a price mark or anything like that. But I think it was around the you know one pound mark or something like that. Anyways, so yeah, let's give guys a four three sixty of the can. So we have a matte feeling can, so it's got that nice, nice matte feel to it. This gives it a much more premium feel and you know just much more better than the standard metal texture anyways the can is very simple but it actually looks really really cool on the front so on the back as you can see we've got an absolute barrage of fonts and there's about three or four different languages on there and i had to sit through all of that to get the information needed for this video and yeah it's a barrage of font i mean look at it it's um yeah, quite a bit. Anyways, the front of the can is really nice. So like I said, most of it is black. We've got the G Energy down the middle, which is fairly cool with a red G. And then we've got these awesome two kind of like leopard tiger things, whatever they are, um, yeah, whatever you want to call them, leopards, with the uh, angry red eyes and the teeth. So yeah, really cool looking can, two tigers on each side. And then so just a bit of red going around the can behind the black. On the bottom, we've got nothing. And on the top, it's all finished off on a shiny black, apart from the pouring, which is in a nice shiny red. Small details like that make a big difference. Anyways, taking a closer look at the cam. So it's got on the front there caffeine, uh, 34 milligrams of caffeine per 100 mil, which is two milligrams higher than the average. And the average is generally 32 milligrams uh, per 100 mil of caffeine. So two milligrams more uh, per 100 mil, but again, it won't make much difference in the grand scheme of things. Now, after sieving through the mini writing on the back, I figured out this was a Lithuanian energy drink because it's got LT first, which is obviously stands for uh, Lithuanian uh, language. And then at the bottom, it's got uh, quality foam in Lithuania. So uh, it's made in uh, Lithuania. So they've got the number down there and stuff so you can contact them anyways. So, so, so basically the main thing you guys need to know is yeah it contains your vitamins and stuff niacin and panophilic acid but the sugar content is insane so i believe it is 12.1 grams of sugar per 100 mil because it's got all wheat sugars and it's got yeah 12.1 grams so 12.1 grams of sugar per 100 mil that's going back to the glory days of when you know there wasn't any sugar tax so Kind of, I almost want to say it's a bit of a treat having a drink, I need to drink this high in sugar, but um, yeah, we'll see about that. But nevertheless, it's nice and cold. I've got my Zesty Arm Studios cup, so nevertheless, let's open it and hopefully it won't explode over me. So for the most part, as this is original, it's probably going to taste of your standard energy drink taste that we all know and we all love um, for the most part. It's going to be the standard colour of energy drink again, which is that kind of apple colour and stuff. But could be completely wrong. It could be original to G Energy, which could be just some random flavour. But for the most part, it's probably going to be original flavour. Anyways, hopefully it doesn't explode over me. There we go. No explosions. Quite a quite a good pouring there, actually. Very satisfying opening. Right. And the colour is, surprise, surprise. And there we go, just pour a little bit into there. Put that to one side. So the fit seems about normal as well for energy drinks, which are generally about in the middle. Energy drinks generally aren't like super, super fizzy, like Pepsi or Coke or stuff like that. I generally prefer drinks where, when they're on the lightly sparkling side anyway. So this one again is, is, is you know, normal for that. So yeah, the colour, it's your normal energy drink colour, which again is that apple type juice looking colour, um, which is yeah, what, what, what I literally guessed. So it is see-through, as you can see my face, a little fruity drink. Put it, up to my, put it up to my light, see if I can see any bits, can't see anything in the drink, so it is all nice and clear, but yeah, just nothing special. Anyways, let's give it a closer smell and see what it smells of. It does smell pretty strong, to be honest with you, of that original energy drink smell. 
Yeah, it's got a pretty strong smell. But for the most part, yeah, it's just that original energy drink smell. Well, nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Oh, blimey. Yeah, you really know that's got the sugar in it. Oh my word. Yeah. So, don't need to drink months of, don't need to drink much of that, but that can pretty much sum up the drink just from those just from those few or five sips. So yeah, you definitely know it's got sugar in it. But you know what, it's actually been quite a while since I've actually tasted a an actual real high sugar entrant. It's been a long time. Yeah, the, the old monster, you know, released a full sugar drink, but they're nowhere near as much as, you know, 12.1 grams per 100 ml because that can will contain about that can will take about 60, 60 grams of sugar. Because if you think of it, if it's 12.1 grams per 100 mil, and it's a 100 mil can, well, do the math, you know, that's 50 mil straight away, then two, four, six, eight, ten. So you're talking about, yeah, you're talking about 60 plus, in fact, of, of yeah, around 60 grams of sugar, which literally, like I said, was back in the glory days of when all your rock stars and stuff were that high in sugar. And this gives you that real, in fact, satisfying, just real sugary hit, which is just, it probably said it is missed in the grand scheme of things because, you know, the sugar tax, so many drinks, half their sugar. And I think this is nice as a treat in real honesty, but you know, the sugar free stuff around these days is, you know, really, really impressive. So I think as a treat, yeah, you know, that's fine on the sugar side to it. But ultimately, yeah, it is just original energy drink taste, and that's pretty much it, albeit just a super, super sugary sweet one. But, you know, it seems an all right energy blend. It certainly seems probably middle of the road. It doesn't seem as cheap as your cheaper bands like the Euro Shopper or, you know, the kind of stuff like that. And it doesn't seem as pure and refined to say like an original Red Bull or something like that. But it definitely seems just middle of the path. An okay middle of the range um, energy drink, which is which is fine, you know. Mm. I mean, it is nice, you know, for what it is. But I just think it's nothing, nothing special. It doesn't stand out there, and it's just, it's just yeah, just another original blend which has been done many, many times. So there we are. Again, I have no idea how big G Energy is out in Lithuania, but certainly here in England, yeah, they just don't exist. They're just complete out of just a random corner shop. So there we are. So as viewers, um, let's give this a rating out of 10. So I think I'll give this, I think based on kind of normal original flavors and stuff, I think I'll probably give it a, I think, I think a six. Yeah, I think I'll give it a six. The flavor's fine for what it is, but really, it's just, it's nothing special and, you know, that's just, that's just it. So I think six, six SDs out of 10. For channel viewers, as always, if you have tried this drink, please let me know in the comments below. But as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.